Now we're looking at a couple of problems that have to do with the sums of the angles in triangles and in quadrilaterals. And a quadrilateral, that just means it has four uh, sides uh, and four angles. So a square, a rectangle, a par parallelogram, a trapezoid, all of those are, are quadrilaterals. Let's look at this triangle first. The key thing you need to know is that the sum of the angles, so the angles of a triangle, they add up to 180 degrees. So if you see a problem like this where you're given two angles and you're asked to find one angle, all you need to do is subtract those, both of those from 180. So I could write it like this, 180 minus 45 minus 55 equals, and that's what I would put into my calculator. Well, let's see, I think if you punch that in, you're gonna end up with 80 degrees. So that x would be 80. And you can always um, check this by adding them together. Put in your calculator 80 plus 45 plus 55. You should get 180 because the degrees of any triangle, the degrees of the three angles, are going to add up to 180. Let's look at one of these quadrilateral problems next. So same kind of thing. You're given three angles, and you have a, a fourth one to find. The, the key to know here, it's a little bit different from the triangle, but the angles of a quad add up to 360. So that's the key fact to remember. And all you have to do if you're given a problem like this is start with 360 and subtract all the rest of them away, and you'll be left with that, what that is. So 360 minus 107 minus 73 minus 63. So what is that? 180, 243, so that's 117. Hope that's right. You can check me on your calculator. So remember, the sum of the angles of a triangle, always 180 degrees. The sum of the angles of a quadrilateral, always 360 degrees. Just subtract the other angles and you'll find the one you're looking for.